Section 2.4 is titled Buy, Rent, or Lease. Let's look at an example. What you're going to do is you're going to figure out whether or not, in certain situations, these people should buy, rent, or lease various objects, including water heaters, homes, whatever's in the question. So let's take a look at a water heater question. Tom has a faulty water heater. He has only $35 in disposable income left monthly. So that's the maximum amount that he can pay per month. He has an unused credit card that charges 18.7% compounded daily. He has two options. Leasing a hot water heater, so leasing it means he doesn't own it, for $17.25 per month, including parts and service. Or he can buy one for $712.99 plus a $250 installation fee using his credit card. But of course, he can only make those regular payments of $35 each month. Should Tom buy or lease? So the total cost of the water heater and installation is $962.99. We can use our TI-83 to actually figure this out. So if you go into, if you go into your apps, go into finances, go into this TVM solver. Okay, we need to figure out the number of payments, how long it's going to take him to pay this thing off, first of all. So the present value is $962.99. His payment is $35. His future value, well, he wants to pay it off, right? So that's going to be zero. Uh, the payment periods, he is paying monthly, so there's going to be 12 of them per year, and it's compounded daily, so 365 times per year. Okay, so we need to find Sorry, I forgot the interest rate. The interest rate is 18.7%. So we need to find the number of payment periods. Oops, payment, we're not, we're not adding to it. We're, we're taking away. There we go. So we need to find our number of payment periods. To do this, you can go into Apps, Finance. We're looking to find N. Go down to N, hit Enter. So the number of payment periods is 36.307, so 37 months it's going to take him. Because remember, we have a little bit extra. That means that that is going to carry over into the next month. So it's 37 months to buy a water heater for him. So then to figure out how much it's going to cost him in total, it's going to cost him this number of payments, N, 36.3073957, times $35 a month is what he can pay. So once we multiply those together, we get a total cost of 1270.76. So it's going to cost him $1,270.76 over 37 months to buy the water heater. But then, what's the cost of leasing going to be? We don't really want to compare apples to oranges here, so we're going to figure out what's the cost of the lease going to be over 37 months, right? Because that's how long it's going to take him to buy the water heater. So if you multiply these out, so we have 37 months times $17.25 per month, works out to $638.25 for the cost of leasing for the same period of time. So clearly, he should go with the lease. It's a lot cheaper. Part B says, suppose the life expectancy of a water heater is eight years. Okay, so the first, first of all, let's figure out the cost of eight years of leasing. So the cost of eight years of leasing is going to be uh, $17.25 times 12 months in a year times eight years which works out to $1,656. So $1,656. But if you take a look, remember it only costs $1,270.76 to buy the water heater. So over this same period of time, now over eight years, buying the water heater is actually the better bet. So if he's going to be living in that house for eight years, he should probably just buy a water heater because it's 
a lot, like $400 less expensive to buy it. So these are what your problems are going to be like. You're going to have to compare situations involving buying, renting, or leasing.